When it comes to treating trauma, depression, anxiety and addiction, there is no magic bullet. But there is a mind blowing breakthrough when it comes to helping people rewire their brain. It's called the EMDR light therapy. It's being credited as a very powerful tool that many therapists and medical professionals are now turning to to help trauma victims begin to heal. Tonight, you're about to meet this Valley woman who has suffered unimaginable pain. She's sharing her own experience to help save others. I really thought it was a fairy tale. I really did. Veronica met the man of her dreams. Charming, kind, a family man, but the seducing charm became a sinister spell. He was a manipulator and a control freak and monitored everything I did. Did it ever turn physical? There was sexual abuse. There was sexual abuse. Veronica tried to bury the trauma, to forget the pain and focus on their two beautiful children, Noah and McKenna. She was very loving so affectionate. Veronica tried to protect her kids from being impacted by all the violence. She got a divorce, packed up the car and the kids, and moved from Ohio here to the valley. She thought the sun would offer warmth and a brighter future, but a storm was about to roll in. We actually went underground. He had threatened my life three times and the children's lives once, that he was going to kill us. Even after the threats, Veronica says the courts still force the kids to fly back to Ohio to visit dad. McKenna started coming home with bruises and scrapes and cuts and sprained ankles and a black eye. McKenna would call me during the middle of the night, hysterical, begging me to come get her, to come rescue her. And legally, my hands were tied and I couldn't do that. Veronica finally refused the court's order, not allowing her kids to fly cross country. So dad decided to visit the kids in Arizona. I found out later from my son that the hotel I dropped them off at for that weekend, his dad had arranged to have just a single bed in the room and that he told them that one night McKenna had to sleep with him and the next night Noah had to sleep with him and the other child had to sleep on the floor. And then it was only a day and a half later that McKenna locked herself in her bedroom. And when I broke down the door a couple of hours later, this when I found her hanging from her ceiling fan. Veronica's life spiraled. She attempted suicide five times. Veronica was desperate for something to save her family. She was open to try anything. My psychiatrist had given me the option of a chemical lobotomy or ECT, brain shock therapy. But another storm was brewing. Veronica was diagnosed with stage three cancer. Noah chose to leave the military to be with his mom. And it didn't take long before Noah's inner demons took over. He relapsed. And the coroner said that he used the same amount of heroin that he used to use when he was an active addict and that he died almost instantly. I didn't feel I had anything left. To live for. They were my sole purpose in this lifetime. Veronica attempted suicide one more time, but doctors in the ER saved her twice from the grave. Her therapist, desperate to save her, had one last hope. This new medical device promises to rewire the brain of trauma victims. It's known in the medical world as eye movement desensitization and reprocessing, or EMDR. It's a psychotherapy treatment designed to alleviate the distress associated with traumatic memories. A lot of times, especially with significant trauma, is that the trauma kind of rewires the brain, right? You have this shift and your brain will get rewired in a dysfunctional manner. To simplify, when we experience trauma, an assault, a rape, abuse, that trauma rewires the brain, causing some victims to become addicts. Others, like Veronica, suffer anxiety or depression. In order to heal, the brain has to fix the wires that were messed up during that traumatic experience. This little device emits sounds and a light bar flashes repeatedly. It's this combination in 20 minute sessions that actively works to rewire the brain back to the way it was before the trauma happened. Within six weeks, 
My depression that I had been treated for since I was 21 started lifting. Within three months, the flashbacks and the PTSD of 15 years was completely gone. And within the six month program that I went through, I was back to being Veronica before I had any traumas in my life. Addiction or depression or anxiety is just people trying to cope and deal with things that are stuck, if you will. And if we can get to them early enough to where it, they're not stuck and they don't feel like that, it, it doesn't end up progressing into something deeper. And could save them from choosing a life of drugs or alcohol. Right, and save escape. their life, absolutely. This EMDR specialist says traditional talk therapy can take at least four months to begin healing the trauma. But in combination with EMDR technology, this device can speed up that healing process. EMDR does not erase memory. Rather, it brings victims to a calmer state to deal with the emotions in a more positive, healthy way. And while Veronica is the happiest she's ever been since her first sex assault at the age of 21, she still has regrets. If you had one more chance to see your daughter, what would you say to her? I would tell McKenna that I understand the choice she made, that she was trapped in pain that she did not see any escape from, and that it breaks my heart not only to lose her, but to know she was suffering so much in silence. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Your story's gonna save people. I hope so. That's the goal. That's my mission now. And Veronica is out there trying to save lives. She's created Veronica's initiative, which will help make this groundbreaking technology available to all women in despair. Right now, they're looking for 100 women to be part of this study. And we have a link to Veronica's initiative on our website, azfamily.com.